When I was a little girl, I loved to watch parades. The colors, the candy, it was something I would always look forward to. But I remember being confused as to why my mother would cry. It was a day of celebration, but still, when the rows of men and women walked by in their distinguishing uniforms, tears would stream down my mother's face. I was still young and unlearned about the atrocities of war. I did not grasp the true meaning of sacrifice, loss, or bravery. As I grew, so did my understanding of these words. I have never had to experience the level of fear, courage, or selflessness that comes with being a soldier. I am not one of them, but I honor them. Many stories of valor will never be told, simply because those who are witnesses did not live to document what they saw. Luckily, some acts of self-sacrifice and extreme devotion to duty were recorded. Throughout history, 99 Victoria Crosses have been awarded to Canadians. 73 out of 99 of those Victoria Crosses were given to those who fought in the First World War. One of the recipients of the Victoria Cross was John Francis Young, a man who served his country unarmed and saved the lives of many. John Francis Young was born in Kidderminster, England on January 14, 1883. John arrived in Canada when he was a young man and worked as a tobacco packer for the Imperial Tobacco Company in Quebec. During 1913, the rumblings of conflict increased and on August 4th, war was declared. Young joined the 87th Battalion of the Canadian Expeditionary Force on October 20th, 1915 and served as a stretcher bearer on the Western Front. Regardless of the extreme danger, Young would frequently face enemy fire unarmed to attend to wounded comrades. But it was his actions on September 2nd, 1918 that earned him the Victoria Cross. On September 2nd, 1918, John Francis Young was stationed near Dury in France. The area he was in was an open space and provided a little cover. His company began to suffer heavy casualties. Enemy gunfire filled the air and many men were hit. Casualties began to grow. To the men who had been injured on the field, stretcher bearers were often the only chance of relief and rescue. In a completely selfless, courageous act, John Francis Young, under intense fire, ran onto the open field to treat the wounded. When he ran out of medical supplies, Young would crawl back to his headquarters to get more. He would then run back into danger to continue to save as many lives as he could. When the line broke, Young arranged for other stretcher bearers to go back to the dozens of men he treated to bring them to safety. On April 30th, 1919, John Francis Young was awarded the Victoria Cross from King George at Buckingham Palace. After the war, Young rose to the rank of sergeant and later returned to his old job packing tobacco. Although he survived long enough to go back home to Canada, Young unfortunately developed tuberculosis as a result of the mustard gases he absorbed during the war. He was admitted to a sanatorium where he died on November 7, 1929. He was only 36 years old. John Francis Young was buried in the Mount Royal Cemetery in Montreal. His legacy lives on. The junior ranks mess of the Canadian Grenadier Guards was named the JFY Club in honor of John Francis Young, and his Victoria Cross now resides at the Canadian War Museum.